Honey with Rockabilly Rise, and today I'm hanging out on the world famous Bill Street right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And I uh, did a little shopping right here at Lansky Brothers. But if you come over here, this is kind of cool. There's a cartoon that they have out front. It's Elvis going into Lansky's, but you'll notice something right there a pink Cadillac. If you ever wondered where Elvis bought that pink Cadillac from, because I always wondered where did he buy all of his Cadillacs from. Well, come on, we're going to jump in this Chevy. We're going to find out where Elvis bought his Cadillac. So we're traveling down Union Avenue right now, which back in the uh, early 1900s, this is where a lot of the houses were. This was a residential section, but something was happening by the 20s. People were wanting to buy cars. And a lot of those dealerships moved to Union Avenue because this became known as Auto Row. So not only did you have people buying uh, cars on Union Avenue, but also Monroe, Madison. That's where you were coming to buy your cars back then, and they were all located within these little streets right here. Cadillac, you had Chevrolet, you had Ford, you had the Nash, the Studebaker, the Stanley Steamer, all the dealerships, Hudson, they were all down here. And if you look in this neighborhood right now, it's kind of a throwback. In 1909, a man by the name of Stephen Butler opened up his very own automobile dealership somewhere in this area. And what did he call it? It was known as Southern Motors. By the mid 1950s, it was located about a block over on 341 Union. And that's where we're headed to right now. Now, why do I mention Southern Motors out of any other dealership? Because Southern Motors is where Elvis shopped and bought most of his Cadillacs here in Memphis. On July 5th, 1954, Elvis records his very first song, That's All Right Mama, just not even a half a mile up the road. But on July 5th, 1955, Elvis purchases his second Cadillac. It was a Fleetwood Series 60 in blue with a black roof from this building. Since Elvis used the phrase pink Cadillac in the song Baby Let's Play House, he had the car repainted by a neighbor. He created a custom color, which he called Elvis Rose. After the car was completed, Elvis gifted the car to his mother, but ended up driving it around himself. He toured around the South with the Blue Moon Boys inside that legendary pink Cadillac. So here's where things get kind of confusing. Uh, this was known as Southern Motors, but eventually became known as Madison Cadillac. So why is that confusing? because we have something known as Madison Avenue, about two streets over, which was part of Auto Row. Why was it called Madison Cadillac if Madison Avenue is over there? It's because Albert Madison bought this dealership and changed the name to Madison Cadillac. At this very location, Elvis actually bought over 200 Cadillacs, and I have one shot of Elvis actually coming in to buy one from right over here. I've also heard that, you know, being so close to Sun, a lot of the rock and rollers from there, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, even Sam Phillips, they bought Cadillacs from right here. So I want to head up to Sun to see if there's a little bit of truth behind that. So I'm here at Sun Studio with one of the tour guides, uh, Graham Winchester, and I, I got a question. So yeah. I've been down at Southern Motors, yeah. and I've heard a little bit of information that a lot of the rock and roll guys used to shop down there. So Absolutely. is there any truth to that? Absolutely. The artists themselves did, and so did Sam Phillips, the owner of the studio. If you look right here, Carl Perkins, perfect example, smiling big in his promo shot for Sun, because when that was taken, Sam Phillips had just bought him a brand new Cadillac from Southern Motors. Right down the road. Right down the road. And that was the gift for Carl Perkins riding and selling a million copies of the original Blue Suede Shoes. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, in fact, if you want to go next door, I can show you a picture of the moment he handed him the keys to the Cadillac. But yeah, man, here's the picture I was talking about. So oh, you see cool. the Cadillac, there's Carl, there's Sam handing him the brand new keys for the brand new car. And actually, that's right outside of the shop itself. If you look right there, if you match up that little circle in the building, it puts it in the frame of reference. When you go back there, you can kind of compare the two. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take a picture of this and take it yeah. down with me and match it up so we can kind of feel like Sam Phillips and Carl Perkins. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm looking at the picture. I mean, you can really match this up really cool. Um, if you look up here, you can see the old 
the Viking Corporation, they were a fire sprinkler company, so that's cool there. And if you also look in the picture, you'll see that this window actually had an awning over it at the time. And the entrance would have been this. This is where you'd walked in and got your car. And you know, you can also match up to these little awnings right here. So if you're ever in Memphis, man, come on down here to Southern Motors and feel like the king of rock and roll. Cadillac. Hey, nobody there? <laughs>